Welcome to this presentation. My name is Artemagis Artemiu. I'm a SQL Server MVP and the creator of in-memory OLTP simulator. In this introductory presentation, I'm going to in give a short presentation on in-memory OLTP simulator. This is a tool I have been working for the last two years and now it was just released. So uh, here I am trying to spread the word about this tool which I strongly believe that it will be very helpful for all of us. What is uh, In-Memory OLTP Simulator? In-Memory OLTP Simulator enables the IT professional and developer to easily test the powerful In-Memory OLTP engine of SQL Server 2014 or later with different simulations and against different workloads. In the ultimate edition of the tool, among other, the user can load data from different sources, for example from her production databases using linked servers, into the simulator's database, simulate real-life scenarios with the use of custom scenarios, as well as get in-depth analytics. In-memory OLTP simulator's engine features three modes of execution with their corresponding data structures. These are the disk-based mode, the memory-optimized mode, and the memory-optimized with natively compiled stop procedure mode. In the disk-based execution mode, all tables are stored in disk storage. In memory-optimized execution mode, all tables are loaded and processed in memory. Under this mode, memory-optimized tables can be also combined with disk-based tables if this better suits the user's needs. Last but not least, the memory optimized with natively compiled stop procedures execution mode unveils the full power of SQL Server in memory OLTP engine. Along with the memory optimized data structures, a new special type of SQL Server stop procedure is used, that is, natively compiled stop procedure. Natively compiled stop procedures are compiled when they are created in contrast to the disk-based store procedures where they are compiled at their execution. This achieves significantly faster execution of the store procedure. In-memory OLTP simulator comes in two editions. The community edition, which provides basic functionality and, and it's free, and the ultimate edition, which in addition to the basic functionality, it provides the capability of creating custom scenarios, thus being able to simulate just about any workload, generate more simulation databases, have access to an executive report, and some other features. Let's take a look at the, at the main features of in-memory OLTP simulator. In the configure menu, the following features are available. The database generation feature, which generates the simulator's database into which all the data structures for the scenarios and the scenario definitions in terms of stop procedures, etc. are stored. The connect to SQL instance function, which allows the user to connect to a SQL Server 2014 or later instance onto which the simulator's database is hosted. In the ultimate edition of the tool, you can connect to multiple databases, simulation databases. The scenario manager, where you are allowed to change the number of records for the six standard scenarios that are available in both editions. And if you have the ultimate edition of the tool, you can easily add new custom scenarios. A last but significant feature in the configure menu is the emergency threshold feature. Here you can set a maximum threshold for memory usage and CPU usage. During a simulation, the system is being monitored in real time and if any of these thresholds 
is reached, then the simulation is automatically stopped. This is done in order to prevent system from getting unstable. In the view menu, you have access to the active scenario definition where you can see several metadata as well as the definition of the currently selected scenario. Another function under the view menu is the view current resource usage where you can, you can see in real time three metrics. These are the CPU usage, memory usage and running processes. There are some export functions in this dialog where you can export each one of the graphs as image files or the entire dialog. Then we have the emergency menu where, as the name implies, provides some emergency actions. These emergency actions, for example, stop simulation, drop scenario or drop all scenarios, are available in case the user runs the simulation and he or she sees that it's not possible for the simulation to continue because the system started getting unstable and he or she wants to explicitly stop the simulation and release resources back to the operating system. At this point I would like to mention that it is not recommended to use in-memory OLTP simulator on production servers or hosted database on production SQL Server instances because of its nature for running extreme simulations, these could easily cause instability. So please do use a dedicated server for, for in-memory OTP simulator in order to be sure that in the case where more resources are needed than the available when running simulation, you will not affect production systems. In the analytics menu, you have access to simulation statistics where you can see in detail statistics about the simulations that run and if you have the ultimate edition, you have access to the executive report as mentioned earlier. Before closing this presentation, let's, let's run a standard scenario just to see in-memory OLTP simulator in action. So the first step is to initialize the scenario. During this step, all the data structures as are created based on the scenario's definition, as well as all the sample data or data transferred using link servers or other similar technologies from other databases into the simulator's uh, database are loaded. Then we run the disk-based mode here you can see a preview of the statistics let's run the next mode which is the memory optimized mode this was much faster than the disk based mode where you can see almost nine times faster speed up when compared to the disk based. Now we run the last mode which is the memory optimized with natively compiled stop procedure and you can see that it is significantly faster. The achieved speed up is almost 30 times faster than the disk based mode. Besides the statistics you can also view the results of the simulation and from here you have hyperlinks to the analytics of the system. You can view the simulation statistics, you can select which view you want to have, if you want to see the fastest, fastest mode, slowest, average or most recent. And if you select the fastest or the slowest, you have another option to select the comparison method which can be either the, either the speed up or the execution mode and of course you can 
export this information to images or onto the printer or text files. And as mentioned earlier, if you have the ultimate edition, you have access to an executive report where a summary of the scenario is provided with along with a summary of um, the, the simulation or simulations that run along with graphs and again you can send this executive report in a textual format to the to an executive for review or export it thank you very much for watching this presentation it was an introductory presentation on, on in-memory OLTP simulator. In subsequent presentations, we are going to see in more detail the available features in in-memory OLTP simulator. And of course, we are going to see what you, you can have more if you have the ultimate edition, like the ability to create custom scenarios and thus achieve a plethora of simulations against different workloads. Thank you very much.